Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a problem which is based on the concept of work. So here we have this problem that is a car weighing 1200 kg and traveling at 25 meters per second stops at a distance of 55 meter decreasing decelerating uniformly. What is the force exerted on it by the brakes? What is the work done by the brakes? So we need to find out for a car weighing 1200 kilograms and traveling with a velocity of 25 meters per second which stops at a distance of 55 meters while decelerating uniformly that is it was reducing it went on reducing its acceleration uniformly to come to a stop at a certain point which was 55 meters away from a certain point. So we need to calculate what is the force exerted by the brakes on it and what is the work done by this force or the brakes. So first of all, let us list out whatever is given in the question after seeing what is what has happened here. So this is the car which weighs 1200 kilograms and this moves with a uniform velocity of uh, was moving with a uniform velocity of 25 meters per second and then it has come to a stop after 55 meters. And since it has come to a stop at this point, the velocity of the car will be zero. And the, uh, the velocity that it had prior to this was 25 meters per second and this will be taken as the initial velocity of the car. So now let us list out whatever is given in the question that is mass of the car is given to be 1200 kilograms. The initial velocity is given to be u equals 25 meters per second. The final velocity we have figured it out here to be v equals 0. And the displacement of the car before coming to a stop was 55 meters. So this is what we have. Now we need to calculate what is the force exerted by the brakes and also the work done by the brakes or the work done by this force that we will be calculating. Now let us try to solve the problem. Now for this we need to find out what is the acceleration of the car or the deceleration of the car. Or we can uh, say in other words the negative acceleration that the car was making because of the brakes. So this we can calculate using the third equation of motion that is v squared minus u squared equals to as where v is the final velocity of the car, u is the initial velocity of the car, a is the acceleration of the car and s is the displacement that the car has made before coming to the stop. So here we have all the values except a. a so on putting these values we have 0 squared equals 25 squared plus 2 into a into 55. So on evaluating this we have 625 equals 1 minus 110 a. So on evaluating this we have a equals minus 625 divided by 110 and this turns out to be minus 5.68 meters per second squared. Now since we have found out the acceleration which is negative. Now here the negative acceleration indicates that the brakes apply force which uh, the brakes apply a force which is in opposite direction to the motion of the car and that brings the car to stop. So that is the reason why the acceleration was found to be negative here in this case. So the force that the brakes exert we can calculate that force by using a formula for the force that the second that comes from the second law of motion which is F equals mass into acceleration. So force turns out to be mass of the car multiplied by the negative acceleration that we have got. So this equals 1200 multiplied by minus 5.68 which equals minus 6816 Newton. So the force that the brakes exert onto the car is minus 6816 Newton and this force is negative since it acts in a direction which is opposite to the direction of motion of the car. Now since it, it occurs or it acts in a direction opposite to the motion of the car we say that this force is a retarding force and we have learned more about retarding force in the previous chapter that is force and the laws of motion. Now this is the work that has been done by the brakes. Now let's try to find out what is the work done by this force. 
Now even the work will be negative work since the force that the brake exerts, brakes exert is a negative force. So the work done by the brakes is W equals Fs that is force into displacement. Now we have force to be minus 6816 uh, Newton and displacement to be 55 meters. So on multiplying them we get work done to be minus 374880 joules that is 3,74,880 joules. So the amount of work done is minus 3.75 into 10 power 5 joules in a standard form if we write it. So the work done by the brakes or the work done by the force that the brakes apply was found to be minus 3.75 into 10 power 5 joules. So this brings us to the end of the solution of this problem and I hope the solution was fully understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.